Welcome back to Cena Gameplay, where we're talking about the embarrassing things that we're doing in this stupid show. <laughs> God, this is so dumb. <laughs> it's our best series yet. We're gonna get lots of likes and subscribes and everything just because we read the Harry Potter thing and now we're reading this stupid thing. <laughs> I should have probably actually credited that person, but I don't think I did. Yeah, well. If you want to, like, after you do this section when it does a little landing cutscene, if you want to pull out your phone and do that, that would be cool. Yeah, I'll do that just to, to mention it. Like, right now. Force field is down! Ho oh, ho, I'm Mickey Mouse! Ho oh. <laughs> So they're the dark ice mines and it's the ice world, and yet there's a bunch of lava. Why would that be? Oh, I don't know. This world is just full of anachronism. That's some cool wavy effect for the heat. Check that shit out. That's like Wind Waker shit right there. Alright, let's see. The author for the, um, Hogwarts Does Harry was Eeyore9990 on uh, asylums.insanejournal.com. Like, comment, subscribe if you like asylums.insanejournal.com slash your something. Your 9990. So anyway, what are you doing? You're going to rescue the mammoth's daughter? Uh, the daughter of the gatekeeper. Or no, we're talking to the... I don't know. Yeah, you're, you're trying to find the daughter. So now we're in like the meat and potatoes of the game and it's like we're out of the intro section. Yeah. I think I was still reading fanfiction when you learned about the daughter of the mammoth or something. Oh yeah, the mammoth guy that was in the ice, his daughter was kidnapped by General Scales to work at a mine here. Ah, uh, I see. Um, this section is actually in the gameplay footage ah! for Dinosaur Planet. Oh yeah? And it looks pretty similar. Just this platforming and jumping. Just only with... N64 graphics, or more N64 graphics. Yeah. Anyway. Back to the story where we last left off in the last episode. <laughs> uh, Kagome went to dinner at the hotel. And I stopped partway through the chapter. What's this full say? Find a way into the mind, but beware of Galden. Galden dislikes smoke. Yes, he does. What's that full say? Have Tricky do the thing. Yeah. On the crack. That guy's got a leg thing on. I think they all do. Do they? That one doesn't. Oh. Oh, it fades it phases in when you get close. Dinosaur hmm? planet, everybody! <laughs> Can you help me get free? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> well, that's not the solution. Anyway. Amazed, she sat down and waited for the meal to be presented. Dawn sat on one side of her and a strange-looking girl about her own age on the other side. The girl was prompt to introduce herself as Ginger, a retired stripper. <laughs> Kagome was quick to ask about her age when she heard the stripper thing, and Ginger replied by saying that she had been a stripper since 16 when she was legally declared an adult by English standards, which she had gone into much detail about. Slightly embarrassed for her, Kagome tried to ignore her for most of the meal, but was in for a shock when the meal was presented. When she saw the tray, Ginger jumped up and said, Ooh, hot dogs and chicken breast. What an odd yet fun mix. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to do a better accent. <laughs> that was a bit too... Yeah. Sorry. Nobody's grading you here. The internet is. They're judging me for reading a story on the internet. <laughs> oh, what'd you get? I don't know. I'm putting a stick in a thing and yeah, getting a, a key. That's what most guys end up doing. Someday. <laughs> Sometimes the thing is another guy. Sometimes. As wacky and uh, unbelievable as that may seem. <laughs> to your delicate Christian sensibilities. <laughs> Christian me? <laughs> yeah, I'm reading a story about a 15-year-old Japanese girl who shit out a Mexican and then was racist about it, and I almost fell back in my chair just now, hey, and that was scary. she didn't shit out a Mexican. She Our shit family. out Mexicans. <laughs> Plural. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Mary smiled and thanked her, and Ginger quickly turned to Kagome with a dog what and a juicy happening? breast. She asked Kagome if she'd ever practiced on a hot dog before. Practiced what? Oral, silly. Are you saying that you've never practiced oral on a hot dog before? <laughs> Kagome's face turned a little red, and when she when and she quickly snapped back, "Of course not." Thank you for releasing me. <laughs> if you're Sounded like something from uh, Spyro the Dragon, right there. Thank you for releasing me. Yeah. She didn't mean to get us into this mess by telling Scales about the spellstone. Traitor. She, she thought was right. Please help her. Okay, lady. I'll keep a lookout for her. This might be of use to you. I found it while I was working. It's a gear. So I hid it from the sharp claws. Don't ask me where <laughs> I hid it. <laughs> oh God. You don't want to know. Let's just say her trunk is really long. It reaches to many places. Okay, where were right. Where was I? After rinsing that thing off, let's continue. Of course not. Ginger smirked, grabbed a dog, and started licking it sensually, getting Dawn's attention in nearly half the rooms. <laughs> Kagome just turned red and started to sink in her chair a little as Ginger began to suck the dog. And by the time she started deep-throating it, Kagome oh, had turned okay. like a tomato. A hot dog. <laughs> yeah, it's a hot dog. She's got a hot dog and chicken breast. Yeah. See, it's just that easy. <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> it gets worse. What about the chicken breast? Oh, these are nice and juicy yet strong and firm. They remind me of something. Oh yeah. Ginger begins to fondle herself and making some of the guys spit out their drinks and the parents covering the small children's eyes. Would you stop it? You're embarrassing yourself, me and the whole table. <laughs> Oh, come on, I bet yours are just as nice, maybe even nicer. <laughs> what are you- Ah! <laughs> Ginger started rubbing Kagome's also, and Kagome pushed her off, very angry and embarrassed. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> like, uh oh. <laughs> no, oh. unrelated, sorry. <laughs> what, you don't like how that felt? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to startle you like that. If you're seriously offended, I'll stop. Here, Ginger gave her hand to Kagome under the table and held her hand tightly. Can we be friends? <laughs> well, sure, I suppose. She felt uncomfortable still, but thought that she would keep her promise and stop. So she figured she, she'd clue Ginger in on what she thought and whispered, To tell the truth, I did kind of like how that felt. <laughs> now we're getting somewhere. <laughs> I'm liking this. <laughs> Ginger smiled and said in a soft voice only she could hear, If you liked that, you'll love this. She winked and began to slide her, their locked hands under Kagome's skirt right up to her panties. To pr and this part's in brackets. <laughs> to protect the younger people who might read this, this hot section has been abridged. Oh. <laughs> It's funny because it's totally intentionally written that way. <laughs> Can you fill in some blanks for me? No. Oh. <laughs> oh, you just uh, rescued a dude. I see you Did I? Yeah. Yet to learn his flame command. Jackie can learn to do flame. Oh yeah, he's like a dragon. The Triceratops apparently can shoot flame. Go on, youngster. Give, Give it, it to go. go. That's historically accurate. Yeah, totally. So are talking dinosaurs. If I wasn't so, exhausted, so is a talking I fox that flies around in a spaceship. Oh, yeah. Slippy is not, though. That's food. the one kind of thing. Creative liberty <laughs> that they took in Star Fox Adventure. Yeah. So, yeah, I guess you can ride the dinosaur through the snowstorm area, if I remember right. But you have to, like, rescue or heal or something. I don't remember. You, you can keep playing. <laughs> Uh, we're playing a game, and I'm sitting here talking about fucking Kagome and Ginger, and this just ain't right. I don't know. I'm enjoying this. <laughs> okay, back to where I was. To protect the younger people who might view this, this hot section has been abridged. Kagome's face grew red, and she gently said, S Stop it. Stop. <laughs> and got a strange yet relieved look on her face, glanced down in her lap, and she asked Ginger for a napkin or two, or five. 
<laughs> Kagome decided to return the favor and started to move to Ginger's lap right up the leg, the whole time fixated on the new feeling of hers. Just then, Kagome's face got a look of astonishment. Ginger leaned in and whispered in deep voice, You wanna fuck me? I'd fuck me. I'd fuck me hard. <laughs> <laughs> Very red, Kagome excused herself from their company and walked back to her room, while behind her, Ginger pulled off his wig and, s and shared a high five with Dawn as the whole table roared with laughter. <laughs> Kagome <laughs> retired to her room and nearly cried herself to sleep from embarrassment. Ah, uh, poor Kagome. <laughs> That's the end of chapter two. <laughs> Coming soon, chapter three, bros before hoes. <laughs> God, this fucking story. It's the gift that keeps giving. <laughs> Just like Sonic Adventure. Oh boy. So what are you doing in Star Fox? Uh, going to a place. I'm not really sure. Oh, oh use need... Tricky's flame. Yeah. flame. Burn that shit. Flame. Flame on. Ow. Way past cool. Now dig this shit. Find. Give me that. What is it? A Dumbledong. No, it's a root. Dumbledork. Nope. Dimpledang. Nope. Dumbledog? Nope. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. <laughs> <laughs> Barry, can we get a replay of that? Take it back to this dude and see what happens. This entire game is just a mammoth feeding simulator. <laughs> kind of. But I need more. Oh. More roots. More. Please, sir, can I have some more? Or no, he says, Give may I have some more. more. Please, sir, may I have some more? More? <laughs> Press B, damn it. Oh, you were trying to... Yeah. It worked! <laughs> that was cool. I wanted to see if it would work, and it did. That's cool. Yeah. Prince Tricky is finally useful. <laughs> Alright, we need to find another route. What was up here? You you can't do anything up there yet. Uh, okay, sure. See, once you feed him and heal him, he'll take you through the snow drifts. Mm. And you have to get on him from there. I think I know where the other thing is. Okay, well you do that. I'm gonna play this game on my own sometime after we beat it on the show here so that I can enjoy it. Because, like, I am totally not paying attention <laughs> at all. That's okay. Okay. This is nothing. Get the fuck out of my way. Whatever Fucking your name is. Tricky. Prince Tricky. France Track. Prince Sticky. Frankie Stanky. <laughs> You're on fire again. I like being on fire more than I like not being on fire. Did you know, when you're on fire in Zelda Ocarina of Time, uh -huh. if you roll, it'll put it out faster. I did. Like, comment, subscribe if you like Ocarina of Time and rolling when you're on fire to make it go out faster. You have to roll around at the speed of sound, I believe. God but damn, what? I, I suppose Link has places to go. You might want to follow your rainbow and light that thing on fire. Oh. Flame. Oh, you've got to feed him. Oh, you had it. 
You have to feed him. I know, I just wanted to see if Fox would be like, Flame, motherfucker! <laughs> Flame. He's found something, too. He said, look at this, it means he found something. It's probably just whatever... It's the... It's gonna happen in the floor. Yeah. Oh, noes! Oh. Ah! <laughs> that wasn't nearly as bad as I thought it would be. Oh. So I guess you gotta go in the... down there? Yeah. I don't really understand how melting ice drained water. <laughs> Me neither. Oh, well, I guess it makes some sense. Because it froze over before it drained before, so by melting it, it would go down the drain. Okay, sure. That happens. Look at this! Look, Look at this! this. Find. find! Next time on Cena Gameplay, we will look at this and maybe even find. Oh, Fox just barfs monosyllabic commands to Tricky. Well, he's a slave. 